We have to accept the fact that it's happening. Remember, acceptance is the final stage of grief. Okay, let's, let's say I accept it. What, what then? Well, you're the science guy, aren't you? Yeah, so? Well, think about it. Science got us into this mess, right? Yeah. So maybe science can get us out. That's it. Science, technology. Doc, you're a genius. Thank you. Don't mention it. I'll be back. Going greener doesn't have to be a drag. Throughout history, some of the coolest inventions have been born out of dire necessity. And today, the acceptance of climate change is yielding wildly innovative ways to fight it. Engineers are designing floating cities that can replace areas lost to sea level rise. One geophysicist is creating synthetic trees that can absorb a thousand times more CO2 than real ones. And a new generation of electric cars is rewriting the rules of the road. Electric cars have been around a long time. They've never gone mainstream before because of their higher cost, short battery life, and limited speeds. Not to mention some well-documented efforts by automakers and oil companies to sweep them under the rug. Now, however, electric cars may become unstoppably cool. Tesla's Roadster can now go 400 miles between charges, and the company is putting up free charging stations called superchargers across the country. It's now possible to go coast to coast without ever paying for gas. The long-term goal is to power all of these stations with clean, renewable energy, which would create an entirely carbon-free transportation system. If that's not enough to get you excited, try driving one. These babies are fast. All right, so you are about to accelerate from zero to 60 in 2.8 seconds. Cool. Three. Two, one. Wow, you can kind of gray out like a fighter pilot. That's cool. That's cool. Awesome. That's all right. Awesome. There's no doubt about it. There are a lot of exciting new energy innovations that can put us on a path to a greener future. But the burning question remains, is it all too little too late? Even if promised cuts to CO2 emissions are met, planet Earth is in trouble. And at this point, there's nothing we can do to stop it. There is such a thing as being too late when it comes to climate change. All of us are going to die, and our species will go extinct. So, this guy in New Mexico, I just met him, Guy McPherson, thinks humanity will be wiped out in 15 years, 2030, because of climate change. What do you think about that? Well, I'm not so pessimistic about that. I mean, climate change is a serious threat, but it is a solvable problem. Stanford professor Mark Jacobson is one of the most brilliant minds in the climate business and one of the most optimistic. You can power the entire U.S. vehicle fleet with 73,000 to 145,000 5 megawatt wind turbines entirely. The pessimists may say transitioning away from fossil fuels will take decades, but Mark thinks it can happen faster. By 2030, if we get our act together, we can stop about 80% of the emissions. And by 2050, 100%. We've developed plans for each of the 50 United States to convert to entirely 100% wind, water, and solar power for all purposes. When it comes to renewable energy sources, not all states are created equal. Coastal states have access to tidal power. Plain states tend to get a lot of wind. And the Southwest is ideal for solar power. This is a 100% clean renewable energy plan for no nuclear. Oklahoma. No nuclear, no natural gas. It's all powered wind, water, and solar. Let's have a look at Alaska. Alaska is so far north that you're not going to have a whole lot of solar. And so in our plans, we're allocating about 70% total energy from wind. 70%. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, wind is the cheapest form of electricity in the United States by far. So you got the plants. Plants. Yeah. But what do we do with these plants? Well, we'll eliminate global warming as we know it by implementing these plans worldwide. Doesn't the fossil fuel industry work real hard to keep the status quo? Oh, yes. Uh, the existing energy infrastructure will fight tooth and nail to prevent these plans from being implemented. <laughs> 